Christianity has a long history, almost as long as, uh, as the Jews. Not that, obviously, <laughs> not that it's a competition or anything. We've just obviously been around uh, thousands of years longer. The point is this. <laughs> what is the future of Christianity? Jordan Klepper investigates. Christian church attendance in the United States continues to dwindle. But according to the New York Times, there was one pastor, Carl Lentz, who was drawing record crowds with an innovative style. But was he the real deal? Oh, excuse me, young rock band member. I'm looking for a stuffy old pastor who says he has a modern twist on Christianity. I think you're looking for me. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna let's just hug it out. Yeah, that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, feels, that feels right. Great to meet you. Yeah, great to hang out with you. Yeah. Meet you. Yeah. Cool. Was I face to face with the future of Christianity? Future Christ. Copyright Jordan Club. Pastor Lynch had it all. The skinny jeans, the douche beanie, and he played Grand Theft Auto in gore mode. In sold out stadiums across the country, this guy had both believers and believers. If you had to describe your church experience in four words, how would you describe it? Super, super, super dope. Yeah. So is this the future of Christianity? I think, yeah, our church, we're gonna get down to it. You can get Bible verses on your phone. You can watch a live link. So if you can't come to church, you can like get on your smartphone. Oh, sweet. That sounds like uh, some dope beats. Yeah. Respect. One love. Cool. Holler. Rock on. You don't have to keep saying those things. Carl's turn in Christ up to 11. But believe it or not, some religious leaders like Reverend Dr. Christopher Benick aren't digging on Carl's dope sauce. I've seen some hipster pastors, and I think they're missing the boat if, if, if they're trying to sensationalize the church. So what does this guy think will revolutionize Christianity? Um, robots. So you're saying the future of Christianity includes robots? Potentially. How does a robot become Christian? We're not talking about a Roomba or your iPhone uh, talking to Siri. We're talking about something that's, uh, you know, exponentially more intelligent than we are. And so robots will will choose to be Christians. You're saying robots, given the ability to have higher thought, they will choose Christianity. Yeah, I, I think I think it's a reasoned argument. This sounded awesome. Carl must be pumped. Domo arigato, Mr. Christ. I. I don't know if I could really care about a robot at all. You're supposed to be the, the future, though. So be it. Right now, we're still going old school prayer. But is old school prayer the future, or will robots remix those jams? If you have the ability to process all of the uh, information on Earth instantaneously, uh, you could write a pretty good sermon. Sweet. Yeah. A little bit better than a guy with tattoos and a kick drum. Uh, yeah, significantly better as far as intelligence goes. Hipster pastor slam. Am I missing something? Like, I don't understand. Like, a robot is created. I don't think a robot can have faith. Sure, robots can have faith. Absolutely, why not? The hope would be, you know, beings that would essentially lead us to a new path of holiness. New path of holiness sounds future crunk, right? I mean, clearly Jesus is in need of a reboot. Is there a new son of God we should be looking out for? Is there a Cody? I feel like he transcends time. Hear me out. Okay. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and Cody. Who's, who's Cody in that? Then exactly, man. That guy's a mystery. I personally feel like Jesus isn't in need of a reboot at all. I think hip, hip stuff goes out of style. That's the thing. That's not true. You're still wearing Fonzie's jacket. <laughs> okay, Robo Dork, show me the future. I think as a species, they can use their gifts to further Jesus' redemptive purposes. Are you calling a robot a different species? Um, yeah, potentially, uh, unless we're integrated with them. F***ing robots? No, 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 like a cyborg. Look, if humans are gonna make something, you better believe they're gonna figure out a way to give it a gender and f it. Christian robots are gonna blow your mind. I was sold. So I went to build my own super intelligent religious robot. And finally, it was done. It was the first of its kind. So I named it Adam. Autonomous. Divinity. Android. Oh, it, I don't know. Monkey. And once he downloaded the Bible, he did have a few questions. Where can I buy my Hebrew slave? Uh, you can't. Seriously? Sorry, it's not an option. The Bible says I can have one in Exodus 21. It's half the reason I signed up. This was not going well. 
can God create something so heavy he wouldn't be able to lift it? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. If God wants to quit smoking, can he hide cigarettes from himself? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Why does God give babies cancer? It's not. Uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus advocates. I'm so confused. None of this oh, computes. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. My head is Damn hot. it, don't go. Is that Steve Jobs? No, don't go to the light. Don't go to the light. Okay, Christianity wasn't for him, but maybe there was another path. Prostrate. What do you think I'm doing? This I'm prostrated. Head on the floor. His head on the floor. What? Okay, next. Good afternoon. Can I interest you in a free stress test? Go f yourself. All he wants to do is cut off the tip of your grounding rod. Forget this, I'm an atheist. You know, aesthetically speaking, it really can be quite appealing. No one touches my robo-chunk. Future Christ. Is this too much? I feel like this is too much.